Good morning, afternoon, and evening to you guys. Welcome to John's Cooking Show. This is my second ever episode, and today I will be making uh, my famous barbecue hot wings. Um, actually, they're not going to be hot wings, they'll just be barbecue wings today because Nikki's dad is visiting. He doesn't. Uh, spicy food doesn't really do well in this system, so I'm just going to do simply uh, honey garlic barbecue wings. And this is kind of a process. I'm starting early in the morning today. I'm going to marinate the wings in a two gallon Ziploc bag for uh, at least 24 hours. The longer you marinate them, the more the barbecue uh, will seep into and absorb into the chicken wings. I've got uh, two pounds of party wings, foster farm wings right here. We're just going to open those up, dump them into the bag, add our barbecue sauce. So I've got my garlic powder, my barbecue sauce, my wings, my bag, and this will just be a little first part of uh, the video. But like I said, I'll put everything in the bag together. I'll leave it in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours, and then I'll grill these up tomorrow night. So I've rinsed off my chicken, and now I'm just gonna dump it in the bag here. Chicken usually comes with this little uh, pad to absorb all the chicken juice and stuff like that. Make sure you don't put that in the bag with the chicken wings. So we've got one package of wings in the bag, and now we'll just go ahead and we'll dump the second bag or second uh, package of wings in. Again, we'll take out the pad for the chicken juice and go ahead and break them up a little bit. There we have our chicken wings, and now we're going to add barbecue sauce. And depending on how many wings you're using is going to really depend on how many uh, bottles or how much barbecue sauce you're going to use. Uh, I'm going to start with one bottle here. And a really good trick here to get all the barbecue sauce is put the top back on. And go ahead and just uh, tap the cap on something hard or on your palm of your hand right here and that'll knock a lot of the barbecue sauce down to the bottom. And then we'll just go ahead and dump it in the bag. We'll do that one more time. Make sure we get all that barbecue sauce in the bag. And you can just let this sit out for a little bit too and add the rest later if you want to. Uh, we've got a lot of barbecue sauce in there. I'm going to go ahead and add the garlic powder into the bag too. And you know, you, you can either measure this or you can kind of just do it uh, by deciding on how much garlic powder you want to use. I use a, a couple tablespoons worth of garlic powder. And then I make sure that I kind of mix it up with my hand first because I want to move all that garlic powder around the wing before I start shaking it up so it doesn't just get stuck and plastered to the side of the bag. So, alright. And now that we're just got all the barbecue sauce in there, all the spices. I'll do this again too in a future video so I don't knock the camera down. Uh, where I make spicy barbecue wings with the sriracha and all the seasonings and all the spices and barbecue sauce too. Those are also great wings. If you like spicy wings, you can just throw a little bit of sriracha in here and that'll keep things right up for you. So, uh, roll the bag down a little bit over the zipper so we don't, uh, it doesn't break open and everything comes out. And then, you know, I just kind of like to flip it around, mash it around a little bit like this. And now I will set this in the refrigerator for, uh, like I said, at least 24 hours. Um, tomorrow night, I think we're going to do maybe 30, 32 hours of marinating. And then I'll throw these on the grill and I'll grill them up probably 10, 10 minutes on each side. Wings are pretty small, uh, so they go really fast and you just want to make sure you're constantly moving the wings around the grill because there will be hot spots from the coals and some of them will cook faster than others and the ones in the middle tend to cook a little faster than the ones on the outside. So you take the ones in the middle and replace them with the wings on the outside of the grill. And uh, it's pretty simple. And then you throw them in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees, cover them in tin foil, and you've got delicious, delicious wings. So next time I see you guys, um, it'll be tomorrow night. We'll take the wings out, we'll have fired up the barbecue grill, and then we'll have the oven going when we're done with that. 
and we'll have some delicious, delicious barbecue wings. And I'm just going to set the wings down here, uh, bottom of the refrigerator drawer out of the way, and they'll sit there for, like I said, at least 24 hours. Part two of the cooking video, got the wings coming up. Uh, they've been in the refrigerator for 24 hours. I just started up the grill right here. Um, I guess I'll go over how to start a grill in another video, but I use a Weber charcoal chimney. It's uh, crucial. If you consider yourself an expert barbecuer, you probably have one of those uh, charcoal chimneys, but it's just a great way to get the coals going. They heat up a lot faster. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the wings, and we're gonna have a little bit of a party wing night with Nikki and her dad and me. All right, so the coals are almost heated up. I've got the wings here. Like I said, they've been marinating for 24 hours. And they smell absolutely delicious. A little honey barbecue action in there. Some garlic honey barbecue, I guess. And what I like to do is just take my bag of wings, dump them out in a large bowl, kind of squeegee out a majority of that barbecue sauce. And that way, when you're grilling the wings, you can use a food brush to take the barbecue sauce out of the bowl after the wings are on the grill and just kind of dab it on the sides of the wings. But you always want to make sure after you brush the wings on one side you flip them over and turn them on the grill uh, so that barbecue sauce heats up and cooks a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and throw those on the grill. So I've got my uh, coal bed here, dumped all the charcoal out of the chimney, kind of flattened it out and I'm just going to take the wings one by one. Place them right on that hot grill right there. And we'll grill them uh, five to ten minutes on each side. You know, I like to do five minutes at a time. And then flip them over for five minutes and flip them over for five minutes and we'll kind of see how it plays out. But then when they're done on the grill, they're going to go into the oven at 350 degrees um, for 15 to 30 minutes, kind of depending on how well they get done. And that's what's going to make them really, really good. Wings are on, got a little excess barbecue sauce on here, like I said, you know, I'll brush it onto the wings there, but they'll be done pretty quick, and they're gonna be absolutely delicious. Barbecue wings on the grill are one of the easiest uh, ways to cook really delicious barbecue wings. You throw them in the oven, great for a party, great for dinner, and it's all around, you know, appetizer, main meal, whatever you wanna do with it. The barbecue wings are delicious. That's where it's at, yo. And I would just like to thank my lovely camera assistant here. Goes by the name of Nikki. <laughs> thank you, baby. Oh, you're welcome. And this is the barbecue brush I'll be using. It's a rubber brush. You just dip it in the barbecue sauce and then rub it on the wings. Pretty handy to have. So I flipped the wings once. I've kind of rotated them around. Uh, the hottest part of your grill is going to be right in the middle. Uh, so the wings on the outer edge aren't going to cook as fast as the ones in the middle. So when you flip them, you kind of move them around. And you move the more charred ones, you can see here you move them to the outside, then you move the ones from the outside ring to the inner ring. And I'll flip them over one more time and I'll throw them into the oven. I also brushed them with barbecue sauce. Uh, I didn't show you that part, but I uh, just took the extra sauce and brushed it on there with the brush. This is the pan I'll be taking the wings off the grill and putting them into. I like to line it with aluminum foil. It just makes cleaning up the pan after you're done a little bit easier. You don't have to scrub all the stuff that cooks onto the pan, it cooks onto the aluminum foil. Then I'll cover it with aluminum foil before I put it in the oven. I also recommend preheating the oven before you uh, put the wings on the grill because it'll take a little bit of time to heat up. But here are the wings. They are all grilled up, nice and charred on the outside. Some of them aren't because I know Nikki likes that. I'm going to add uh, a little bit of barbecue sauce to the pan, cover it in aluminum foil, put it in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. Oh yeah. And this barbecue sauce is actually going to cook. so. Um, you just kind of put it on the top of them. Make sure every wing gets a little bit of barbecue sauce. That honey barbecue love, yeah. Wings covered in tin foil. And open up the oven. Take the wings. Throw them in. Set the timer. All right, it's been 30 minutes and the wings are done. I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer them into a bowl so we can kind of just eat them party style. And there is the final product. 
I know these are going to be delicious. We're going to go ahead. It's getting late. We're going to dig right in. But again, you know, we marinated the wings and barbecue sauce for 24 hours. Threw them on the grill for about 10 minutes on each side. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Kept flipping them. And then we put them in a pan, covered them with tin foil, put more barbecue sauce in there, and threw them in the oven for 30 minutes. And you'll have some of the best tasting wings you've ever had in your entire life. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, favorite this video, and stay tuned for more cooking videos from me, John.